This is a review of the topics we've covered this week. We've got expanding and factorizing, single brackets, and expanding double brackets. Expanding single brackets. When a question says expand, it is asking us to get rid of the brackets. And we do that by multiplying the term outside the bracket by both of the terms inside the brackets. So we've got 2 times a and 2 times 9. 2 times a, we write as 2a. We don't write a time sign in algebra, so 2a means 2 times a. And we've got 2 times 9, 2 9s are 18, and it's a positive 18, so it's going to be 2a plus 18. For the second one, we've got 7 times b, and 7 times a negative 4. 7 times b, we write as 7b, and 7 times a negative 4 is going to be negative 28. So we write 7b minus 28. In the third one, we've got 5c times 2c, and 5c times a negative 3. 5c times 2c means 5 times c times 2 times c. So that's 5 times c times 2 times c. And we can change the order of this. So we can do 5 times 2 first, which is 10. And we've got 10 times c times c. c times c is c squared. So it's 10 times c squared, which we write as 10 c squared. 5c times a negative 3. A positive times a negative is negative. And we've got 5 times c times 3. We can times 5 and 3 together to get 15. And 15 times c we write as 15c. And the last one. Question 4, 6d times e, 6 times d times e, we just write that as 6d e. And 6d times 8d, we can do 6 times 8, which is 48, and d times d, which is d squared. Okay, 4 for you to try, so pause the video and give them a go. The first one, f times f is f squared, and f times a negative 7 is negative 7f. The second one, 8 times g is 8g, and 8 times 10 is 80. It's a positive 80, so we write plus 80. The third one, 2h times 5h, 2 times 5 is 10, and h times h is h squared. 2h times a negative 9 is going to be negative, and 2h times 9 is 18h. And the fourth one, 4j times 6j, 4 times 6 is 24, j times j is j squared, and 4j times 1 is just 4j. Factorizing single brackets. Factorizing is the opposite of expanding. So when we are asked to factorize, we need to put our expression into brackets. The first question, 15a plus 20, we need to look at what we can take out of 15 and 20. So what times table are 15 and 20 both in? That is the five times table. So I can take 5 outside the bracket. And then we say 5 times what would make 15a? 5 times 3 would make 15. So 5, so 5 times 3a would make 15a. And 5 times what would make 20? That would be 4, and it would be a positive 4. So if we expanded this, 5 times 3a is 15a, and 5 times 4 is 20. 
for the second one. We want the biggest times table that 8 and 12 are both in. So we don't want to take two outside the brackets because there's a bigger factor of 8 and 12. We can take four outside. They're both in the four times table. And then four times what would make 8b? Four times 2b would make 8b. And four times what would make a negative 12? It's negative. And four threes are 12. The third question says factorize fully. That tells us that there's more than one thing that we're going to take outside the brackets. So we still look at the numbers. So we look at 18 and 27 and say, what's the biggest times table they're both in? And that is the nine times table. So nine comes outside the brackets, but they've also, but they've also both got a D in them. We've got 18 D squared, which means 18 times D times D. And we've got 27 D, which means 27 times D. So we can take a D outside the brackets as well. 9D times what would make 18D squared? 9 times 2 makes 18. And D times D makes D squared. And 9 times what would make 27D? And 9 times what would make negative 27D? So it's going to be negative. 9 times what makes 27? That's 3. So if we expanded this bracket, we would get 18d squared minus 27d. Okay, three for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, 14c plus 21. 14 and 21 are both in the seven times table. So we can take seven outside the brackets. 7 times 2c makes 14c, and 7 times 3 makes 21. Question 2, 20 and 10 are both in the 10 times table, so 10 can come outside. 10 times 2d makes 20d, and 10 times what makes negative 10? 10 times negative 1, so it's 2d minus 1. Question three, factorize fully. We've got 18AB plus 24A. So 18 and 24, the biggest times table they're both in is the six times table. And AB and A have both got an A in them. So we can take 6A outside the brackets. 6A times what would make 18AB? Six times three is 18. And A times B makes AB. And 6A times what makes 24A? That's a 4, and it's a positive 4, so we write plus 4. Expanding double brackets. The question says expand and simplify. Expand means get rid of the brackets, and simplify means collect the like terms afterwards. So we're going to expand, get rid of the brackets, and then collect like terms. The first question here says a plus 4 squared. a plus 4 squared means a plus 4 times a plus 4. To get rid of the brackets, we're going to multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So we're going to do a times a and a times 4. And then we're going to do 4 times a and 4 times 4. So a times a, we write that as a squared. a times 4, we write the number first, so that's 4a. 4 times a, is also 4a, and 4 times 4 is 16. Where we've got positives, 
we've written plus in between them. So that's expanded. We now simplify. And which terms are the same? So a squared terms aren't the same as a terms. But we've got two a terms that we can add together. So we've got a squared. We've got 4a plus 4a. So we've got 8a. And we've got 16. So we've got a squared plus 8a plus 16. For the second one, we're going to follow the same steps. b times b is b squared. b times a negative 7 is a negative 7b. A negative 5 times b is a negative 5b. And a negative 5 times a negative 7. A negative times a negative is a positive. And 5 7s are 35. So that's expanded. Now we'll simplify by collecting like terms. That's the B terms. So we've got negative 7 minus 5. Negative 7 down 5 goes to negative 12. So we've got B squared minus 12B plus 35. And the last one, we've got c times c, which is c squared. c times a positive 8, which is plus 8c. We've got a negative 8 times c, which is a negative 8c. And a negative 8 times a positive 8. A negative times a positive is negative, And 8 eighths are 64. So collecting like terms, we've got 8c, take away 8c, which is nothing. So we've just got c squared minus 64. We call that the difference of two squares. So c is squared and 64 is 8 squared, and they've got a minus in between them. We get that when we've got the same terms in the brackets, but one with a plus and one with a minus. Okay, three for you to try. I'm going to quickly change the first question. So three for you to try, pause the video and give them a go. So the first one we've got m times m, which is m squared. m times 2, which is 2m. 6 times m which is 6m, and 6 times 2, which is 12. Collecting like terms, we've got 2m's plus 6m's, which is going to be 8m's. So we've got m squared plus 8m plus 12. For the second one, we've got e minus 9 squared, which means we've got e minus 9 multiplied by e minus 9. So we're going to do e times e, e times negative 9, negative 9 times e, and negative 9 times negative 9. So e times e is e squared. e times negative 9 is negative 9e. Negative 9 times e is also negative 9e. And negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81. So collecting the like terms negative 9e take away 9e is negative 18e so we've got e squared minus 18e plus 81 and for the last one which is going to be the difference of two squares we're going to do f times f f times negative 10 10 times f and 10 times negative 10. so f times f is f squared f times negative 10 is negative 10f, 10, 10 times f is 10f, and 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. And if we collect the like terms, negative 10 plus 10 is nothing, so we have f squared minus 100. Okay, so that was week 4 review. There's an assessment now available. 
I'll put the link in the description or if you're watching on the website at the bottom of the page.